Alright guys, so has this ever happened to you? You get a budget camera like this EOS M or a T3i or a, a D3300 and you're just blown away by the image. And then when you're shooting you record some interviews and you're just like blown away that this camera can get good audio, good video. And so you know what? I'm gonna do a YouTube video. I'm gonna do like a tutorial or something. And you sit down and it sounds like this. So you think it's your microphone, so you type in best budget microphone into YouTube, and you find one you like, and you buy it, and still, you have this. And so you're like, man, this microphone's horrible. You get onto Amazon and write a scathing review saying this microphone is so noisy, I have this constant hiss through my video, and you go out and you say, you know what? Since this microphone costs 40 bucks, I'm gonna buy one that costs 140 bucks. And you still have this. Yeah, that's where I've been, and I really like cameras like this EOS M for the image. It gives a beautiful picture, but it does have that small little problem. Now, what's actually causing that is not your microphone. I'm using the Rode Video Micro. It is the cheapest Rode Video Mic that you can get, and if you plug it into a higher-end camera or a newer camera, it sounds great. But if you get one of these camera, what's actually causing that hiss in the audio is the preamps. But one of the problems with the older mirrorless and DSLR cameras is that people mainly use them for photography. So those people didn't need good preamps inside of a camera. Then you start getting microphones like the Rode VideoMic Pro that has plus 20 dB boost. You could lower the internal levels of your camera down and get good audio levels with very little noise. A problem with that is that the Rode VideoMic Pro costs as much as it would cost to buy this camera. And it's not really worth it to buy that microphone for a cheap camera like this. So what do we do? Do we kind of just try and raise our music levels to hide it and make our voice less distinguishable? Or do we try to use an equalizer to minimize the sound but then distort our voice? Or do we just bite the bullet and get an expensive microphone for our cheap camera? Well, actually none of those because there is a way that you can remove hiss and noise from your audio completely for free all it takes is a program called Audacity. I am not sponsored by Audacity whatsoever. I've never talked to them. I just downloaded it because of another video that I saw on YouTube. But that program, I use it for all of my audio. Even when I'm shooting with something like the EOS M50 that has decent preamps internally, I still use it to just try and take that noise floor down to nothing. So if you're interested in making your audio go from this, to this. Then stay tuned and we'll be jumping into Audacity and showing you how to do that completely free. First of all, you gotta download the program. I'll leave a link down in the description, just follow the instructions, load it onto your computer and make sure you get a version that works for your operating system. After that, you need to take your video files into your editing program. So what I normally do is I put the video into my timeline, then right click on the audio and I click on open in audio editor and that brings up the audio editor and I usually get my levels correct. So it peaks at about minus six and goes down to about minus 18. Somewhere in that range is where I like to keep my audio, but usually peaking around six decibels and then I just save that audio file as an mp3 and then I open up audacity and then I go to the, my folder where I have that file put that into audacity and then you want to go to the effects tab scroll down until you see noise reduction and then these are the settings that I use and I found that they've worked well they're actually what the other youtuber suggested and so I use them they work good I would use these and if you have to adjust it more in the future then just see what you like and then adjust it from there. So then you select a track of audio. At the beginning of this video, I clapped twice. So I have a section of audio between those two peaks where I can select it and then go up to the noise reduction and click on get noise profile. Then I leave the noise reduction effect and I press control A and that selects the entire audio track. Then I go back to effects, back to noise reduction, but don't hit get noise profile again. Then you go down and press apply. Then you wait for it to load and that'll be the noise reduction. And then when you play it back, you'll find that hiss is completely gone. Now something to note, when you do your clapping, you wanna have a little bit of space in between. You wanna have your audio levels 
on manual and staying at one level so you have consistent noise removal and you need to hold your breath before your first clap and let it go after your second clap because if you don't do that your software is going to try and reduce the frequencies in your breath range and not just the noise range and it'll distort your voice. So there you have it how to remove noise from audio for free using the Audacity program. Uh, I found this really useful I use it for all of my talking head segments and it has worked so well and it brings the noise floor down to something where you're not going to hear unless maybe you have headphones. If this was helpful go ahead and hit the like button, comment down below and tell me what you thought of this video, hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so you can get this content every Saturday and we'll see you in the next video.